Welcome to the National Maritime Center webinar regarding how to apply for a Merchant Mariner credential. The first step to applying for a Merchant Mariner credential, or MMC, is to obtain an application packet from our website or from our Customer Service Center. Our website can be accessed at www.uscg.mil forward slash NMC and our Customer Service Center can be reached at 1-888 I ask NMC. Each application packet contains a Merchant Mariner Credential application acceptance checklist. This is a list of forms which must accompany the application in order for the National Maritime Center to evaluate your qualifications to hold an MMC. Next, determine whether you need to apply for a Transportation Workers Identification Credential, or TWIC, from the Transportation Safety Administration. Coast Guard Policy Letter 11-15 explains this in detail. Complete the application for a Merchant Mariner credential. There is a video titled CG-719B on our website which will help with completing the application. Pay any applicable fees via pay.gov, print your receipt, and add a copy of it to the application package. There is an instructional video called How to Use Pay.gov available on the fees portion of our website. Foreign nationals applying for rating endorsements must show proof that they are lawfully admitted to the United States for permanent residence. Please provide a photocopy of the front and back of your alien registration card, Form I-551. All applicants must disclose all convictions not previously reported to the Coast Guard. A conviction is a guilty or no contest plea, deferred adjudication, required class attendance, contributions of time or money, a requirement to receive treatment, placement under supervision or on probation, or a decision to forego appeal of a court's conviction. Physical Form CG-719K is to be used for all original, renewal, and raise of grade officer and qualified rating endorsement applications. Physical Form CG-719KE is to be used for entry-level applications, for example, ordinary seaman, wiper, steward department, or food handler. Please note that a food handler endorsement with a 719KE requires a statement from your physician stating that you are free of communicable diseases. Be sure that your medical practitioner completes all parts of the form, including signature, and that it is dated within 12 months of your application unless you are applying for a raise of grade. Raise of grade transactions require that the form be dated within 36 months of the application. A chemical testing report, also known as a drug screen, is required for all original and renewal transactions, as well as any officer endorsement raise of grade and any time you apply for your first qualified rating endorsement. The report must be dated within six months of your application. A letter from your marine employer on company letterhead or a letter from a chemical testing consortium group may be used in lieu of this form. In addition to the Coast Guard forms, a complete application package includes photocopies of current credentials, details regarding disclosure of information to third parties, and alternate mailing addresses for correspondence or the credential. It is very important to include evidence of appropriate sea service in the form of a small vessel sea service form, certificates of discharge, or letters from employers. Please see the part of our website entitled Professional Qualifications. The first tab explains documentation of sea service in detail. Also include photocopies of all training certificates and assessments. Please see the Professional Qualifications section of our website under the Courses tab for details on requirements of training certificates and assessments. Once the application package is complete, you can submit it by mail, fax, email, or in person to any regional exam center where the contents will be verified. Please do not submit your application directly to the National Maritime Center. The National Maritime Center does not accept application packages at this time and your application package will be returned to you for submittal to a regional exam center. Submitting your application to the National Maritime Center instead of a regional exam center 
could cause significant delays in processing. When you submit your application to a local regional exam center, the package will be assembled and forwarded to the National Maritime Center for processing. Please allow at least five days for your application to be received by the National Maritime Center once the Regional Exam Center puts it in transit. The National Maritime Center processes your application by evaluating your complete application package against the Code of Federal Regulations. There is a safety and suitability evaluation, a medical evaluation, and a professional qualifications evaluation performed. If any required items are missing, an awaiting information letter is mailed to you. This may cause significant delays in the processing of your application. After completing all evaluations, you will receive either an approved to test letter if examinations are required, or your credential will be sent to the print shop. There, the MMC, endorsement labels, and or the medical certificate will be printed. To conclude the process, the National Maritime Center mails the printed credentials to you. They will be mailed to the address on the application unless we are otherwise informed. 